to become a fully qualified actor in Canada, most employers require students to be certified professionally through uh, either the Society of Actuaries or the Casualty Actuarial Societies. So in general, generally, CAS is for people who are interested in general insurance, like the PNC, and SOA is for others, usually people who want to work in life insurance. So I did exam through the SOA, so I'm going to comment on the exam system uh, a little bit more. So there are three pathways that you can pursue with the SOA. So the first two pathways can be considered to obtain an associate level. So you can either get a, an ASA or you can do a, you can continue to get a SERA. So the SERA is the Charter Enterprise Risk Analyst and that is for people who want to specialize more in the enterprise risk management area. So the ones you already obtained the associate level, you can continue and pursue a specialized track with the SOA. So they have six different uh, specialized tracks with the SOA. So the first one is the corporate finance and ERM track, which uh, what I did uh, for my SOA uh, FSA pathway. Uh, the next one is the uh, quantitative finance uh, investment and then you have the individual life and annuities and then the fourth one retirement benefits, the fifth one group and health and uh, the latest one is general insurance track. So that's one is like I would say to maybe compete a little bit uh, with the CAS but I think right now for PNC the CAS is still more well known. So for certain uh, actuarial uh, practice or role, you also need to become a member of the Canadian Institute of Actuaries. So for if you, especially if you want to become like appointed actuary or the chief actuary, uh, you have to also be a member of the Canadian um, actuarial uh, uh, organization as well. And in order to uh, uh, become a fellow of the CIA, then you also need to uh, have like a, a fellow of the SOA or the CAS, and then you also have to uh, pass a practice education course and uh, then also have uh, three years working experience and within those three years you also need to have like 12 months working uh, as a Canadian actuary in Canada. So in general it takes about four to six years to get uh, the associate level and then another two to four years to get the fellowship level. So to earn and maintain the designation, so besides passing exam, there are other requirements like professionalism workshops and continual professional development as well.